Kathy's penchant for deception has made Floor B3 more trap-laden than any other. She was gifted at using them to reach people emotionally, and thus lead them to seek self-reproach and salvation. Though she always was a bit of a spendthrift, let's call it one of her charms, shall we? Hence, there could still be some here seeking self-reproach and salvation. Now then, I will go ahead and wait by the elevator that descends to the floors below. Okay. I'm pretty sure the jail was further down this way. I gotta make this quick. Oh god, I... Oh yeah, this is the elevator. The elevator's... The elevator still ain't working. Why are you talking like that? Oh, were you just pretending to be a fancy priest guy? I mean, probably. You're a murderer, right? So... Okay, hey, it's the gun that almost killed Zack. Uh... Zombie guys. Oh, the photo place. Can I see the pictures now? Photos of several people scattered everywhere. Uh... No. Can I bring this back for Zack? No? Sorry, Zack. Uh... This way. Oh, wait a minute. Is Kathy still down there? The body's gone. Wait a minute, is she not dead? Because Danny wasn't dead. And... Eddie... was... Uh... Dropped in a hole, I think. <laughs> Traces of blood, an arm, and a whipper. Why? Why is her arm still there? Maybe she has a hook hand. That's fine. The iron bars are open. I should be able to get to the jail cells through here. Welcome. Okay. special appears to be here. What? Uh, okay. That arm thing. What? Hey. This was the only place where that arm-looking thing popped out. Something's there. Is that the switch he mentioned? Can I reach it? Just a little further. Run? Where? Oh! Wait, what? Uh... What were those things? It doesn't look like they'll follow me here, though. I can't get into the jail like this. Those things are in the way. I can't use my gun anymore. What do I do now? I got it. This floor is traps all over the place. The jail's over there. There should be a way to deal with them if they escape. I'll check out the room with the machine. I should be able to bring up a security video here. this room, and the device mechanism. This is harder than I thought. Is this it? Here we are. From here I can look at the screen and shoot them. I wonder if she was shooting would be escapees with this. Could that be why there's so many of them? Short on time, gotta hurry. I just need to align the crosshairs and press this button, then I can enter the room. 
Okay then. Aim with a thing and uh go for leg shots. Okay. Oh my god. Uh Huh? Oh what? How does this work? Huh? Uh I'm pressing it. It's not working. Oh, there we go. Oh, just a bit lucky. Come on. Uh, am I murdering innocent people? It's fine. Come on. Oh my god. Uh... Now I can pass through. <laughs> what a terrible thing you've done. Disposing of those who lament in pain and suffering like yesterday's garbage. And yet you show no emotion. You'll stop at nothing to have Zack take your life. Rachel, you truly are a sinful woman. What was that? Wait, it's gone? I don't get it. At any rate, I gotta hurry. I shot them all so I shouldn't be obstructed anymore. Ugh. No, this isn't the time to worry about that. I shot them, there's no trace of them. There's a switch a bit further back. I think this is it. I press the jail switch. That sound. Was it the elevator? I'll go see him now. It appears you managed to press the switch. Yes, Reverend. And how did you accomplish this feat? Ah, uh, did not a soul give chase or impede your progress? No, somebody did, but I shot them. Is that so? And what was your reasoning for such an act? Because they were in the way. Time is short. Let's carry on to the next floor. We have arrived, Rachel Gardner. Uh huh. As you requested, floor B4. The switch here is within the water temperature control room. Why must you do all of this? What do you mean? For a while now, your actions have been confusing me. I just want to go downstairs to find some medicine. Tis all for the sake of learning who you are. Who I am? Indeed. For you see, you are irregular. A lamentable lamb. Or perhaps a demon. Also, I'm monitoring your actions during this test. He wants to learn more about me. But that... that shouldn't matter to him. No, it's all about you. Uh... 
Oh my god, hold on. Okay, my nose is stuffy. What is this? Oh yeah, the control room. Eddie's body should be in this thing. The gravestone Zack destroyed. Has it been moved? Not again. What's wrong with me? How am I able to see the dead now? But this is no time to be scared. You're not seeing the dead. They're all alive. That's why those guys in the prison or people that you murdered. And Zack hasn't killed anyone except for that duff. Can I? Stone has been shifted. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Upon closer inspection, I see this place has been utterly ruined. Eddie was a nice boy, to be true. Furious he must have been that his graveyards were the target of villainous devastation. Perhaps his kind heart is to blame for his tendency to receive the short end of the stick. A piteous fellow. But it is those who are meant to be resting in their graves who should be pitied the most. Eddie was compassionate enough to give them a resting place for the cleansing of their souls. Now even that wish shan't be granted. Well, I shall go on ahead. You may resume your errand. There's something sticking out from the broken gravestones. Those shouldn't be here. But no need to worry about that now. I've got to go to the temperature control room. I'm pretty sure it's at the back of the room to the right. The gravestone's broken to pieces. A hand-shaped stuffed toy protrudes from a crevice. Were there coffins here before? The coffin's tightly shut, surrounded by a copious amount of blood. Coffin's tightly shut, covered in dirt. On the way, is this Kathy and Eddie? That's fine. Large hole in the wall. The control room is through here. Uh, temperature, I just think. What? Huh? What do I do? Something's written on it. Only for my use. Upon opening the refrigerator, a breeze of chilly air begins to waft out. There's nothing inside. Oh no, wait, there's a hole in the back. But I can't reach it. If I had something long and thin. Long and thin? Like... A... Shining... Stick on the floor? Broken pickaxe. It's broken, but... I can still use it. But it's not long enough. I have to find a way to make it longer. Um... Can you use an arm? Project, pro project? The object protruding from the gravestones and moving on its own. <gasps> I think that's a hand-shaped stuffed toy. I guess it's a moving toy. Ah, uh, if I tie that to a stick with some string, then... Excellent thinking. Come here. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> toy hand, let's get out of here. I need all of them. Come here. Yeah. Uh. Come on. This is gonna be a gigantic stick. That should do it. I'll try attaching it to the pickaxe. Don't chase me around like that. 
I have enough hands now. I don't need you. Okay, Rachel is... not... Hey, Big X. If I attach the toy hands... First, I'll sew them together. And combine them. Then, if I attach it to the tip of the broken pickaxe... You now have a super pickaxe. Now I should be able to reach the back of the refrigerator. Curiously shaped pickaxe, stuffed toy hand fidgets upon the tip. I should be able to reach it if I use this. This thing's so odd. It's not broken and is still wiggling a little. <laughs> Good. This was the right switch. I gotta hurry. To the elevator. That goes down. The toy hand stopped moving. Hey, Eddie. I saw that, Rachel. How terrible, just terrible. Hey, does hearing a sad scream not make you feel anything, Rachel? Don't you want to comfort whoever screamed? Ever consider what makes that person happy? You only think about yourself, Rachel. And blatantly ignore anyone else's happiness. And that's why everyone around you, even Zack, will no doubt suffer and meet their end. Not again. How awful. A sad scream. I feel nothing. Suffering beat the rent. Even Zack. But I... No. I mustn't think about this. The next floor. B5 is the medicine. I gotta hurry. I press the switch. It appears so. Rachel Gardner. How did you manage to press the switch? I attached a toy hand to a pickaxe and pressed it with that. Interesting. Did they wail in agony? No. How can you be so sure? I mean, it was just a toy hand after all. I see. They must have appeared to you as such. So be it. If that's what you saw, then... It is... must be true. Please let me go down to the next floor. Very well. We've arrived. You wished to come here, did you not? Yeah. Then make haste and find your medicine. Danny's a fastidious man, but he's nevertheless scrupulous, dedicated and unbiased in his work. Surely he has the medicine you seek. Nevertheless, it seems Danny has, being a trifle obsessive as of late. Um, what is it? There's something I need to get on B6 as well. Oh, very well. You sure it's okay? Yeah. Return to the elevator once you have found your medicine. Okay. Time to find that medicine. I'm positive there should be some here. Although I was in a complete haze and didn't take a good look around when I was here before. I passed through this floor before, but something seems a bit out of place. It's been bothering me the whole time, but I just can't put my finger on it. The walls and the elevator are exactly as they were. Even Zack's vomit is still there. Come on. Something's really not right here. I'm out of here. Okay, it's vomit. Uh. Ow. 
groan. Huh? What was that just now? Oh, I sort of cut my foot on the glass. It happened when I panicked and ran away. It sure smarts? What? It sure hurts, but the cut is small and I'm not losing any blood really if you... In fact, the whole thing left me feeling strangely refreshed. What's in the world? What? What in the world was all that about? Never mind. I gotta find that medicine. Zack's depending on me. I'll check out the operating room. Hold on a second. Can I... There it is. Zack. You should take that as a souvenir. <laughs> I'm sorry. Elevator door shut. Okay. Well, at least now you're not crazy anymore. Uh... Hey, Danny. Yep, of course. The doctor's missing. Oh no, where is he? I'm pretty certain there wasn't a body on B3 or B4 either. But... The only trace of him being dragged is here. Something's off. I'll forget that for now. My first priority is finding medicine. The room in the back should have a shelf with specimen and drugs. But first, I want to check on the priest guy and see if he says less weird stuff. What? Have you not found any medicine yet? I haven't. Dang it. Medicine has been taken out. The drugs are gone. I'll scour all the drug shelves on this floor if I have to. The interior has been ransacked, leaving no place to step. That's fine. Oh yeah, this thing. The security camera's broken. The inside's been ransacked also. There's nothing here. Danny went crazy. He's always crazy, but he went crazier. Um, yeah. Writing on the wall is smeared with dirt. Can you wipe that off? Oh, that was just the thing about the killers on each floor. Okay, Danny. Uh, copious amounts of blood. Danny! Where is he? Drugs have been taken out, leaving only eye specimens. Uh... It's gone. All gone. The medicine's all gone. Did someone make off with it? I gotta get back. And see Zack. But I also gotta go to B6. Zack asked me to. I gotta hurry. Hold on. Okay. And now to bump into Danny. Uh, Danny. 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 What's the matter? You look ghastly. Hurry and take me to B6. And so I shall, but did you find the medicine? No. Nothing. You told me there would be medicine here, but that turned out to be a lie. Hmm. Well. Perhaps you doubt my words, but using eyes. I too am unaware as to why the medicine's missing. Danny's doing his thing. Yet I can guess that you are to blame, Rachel Gardner. It has nothing to do with me. Has it never crossed your mind that you have played a part in all these unfortunate events? I told you it has nothing to do with me. 
Never mind that. Hurry and take me back to B6. Very well, let's be on our way then. Oh, so you're alive. But you're so weak. Shall I finish you off? Zack. Wakey wakey. You never change, do you, Zack? It amazes me that you can move so nimbly and nimbly? Nimbly in that shape. But look at you. You're almost out of breath. What the hell are you doing here? I'm surprised. I knew all along that you were attempting to go after Rachel and leave this floor. So we hit a bit of... What? So he hid a bit of a safety precaution under my clothes, just in case. I had no idea. No idea that you'd actually show up, though. Alright, I'll slash you good. One more time. You mustn't push yourself, Zack. Look at you, such a slowpoke. Huh? Besides all that, just give it a rest. Even I didn't make it out unscathed. Okay. My body armor and blood transfusion packs got hit hard, resulting in this mess. You seem pretty peppy considering, if you ask me. That's what separates you and I. Proper preparation in advance, and clean up afterwards. Though... I'm just as frantic as you are. I thought about killing you in your sleep, but you woke up. There goes that idea. Tell me. Why are you accompanying Rachel? And where is she anyways? Are you seriously asking me that? As if I'd ever tell you where she is, you crazy person. What would you do if I said I killed her, huh? You trash. Who you think's been admiring her peepers? Are you trying to say you killed her? Don't mess with me. Those peepers are unique. I've been searching my whole life for peepers like those. Alive yet dead and so tranquil and beautiful. You think I'm gonna let someone like you have her peepers? They're all mine, mine, I've been admiring them for so long. Who gives a crap? I couldn't care less about her eyes. But she wants me to kill her, and I'll be the one to do it. So whatever happens to Ray isn't yours to decide. Fine. Have it your way, then. I know she's alive. You being here on this floor is proof of that. Ah, yes. Allow me to make a proposal, my battered friend. To tell the truth, I have a lot of medicine on my person. Want me to use it. To save you. That is, if you scoop out Rachel's peepers and give them to me. I just told you that I've got no interest in Ray's eyes. Count me out. Without her eyes, her laugh and smile would be empty. I thought he told you to leave me alone about her stupid eyes. I'm not giving you anything, you bastard. Oh my, what a fool. I'll take my leave then. Huh? I'll lose to a monster like you in my current state. You can't even walk properly by yourself, right? In that case, I should hoof it out of here while I can. Besides, I gotta make a prep preparations to protect your peepers. Hey, wait. Don't do anything crazy. We've arrived at B6. Zack's floor corresponds to his mystique. Tis uncomplicated in design, now make haste. <laughs>